What's going on? What's going on? We back at it again. Drams on deck today. Today we're going to do a little something. Something. Uh, I think I want to do, I don't know, a domestic, maybe a bourbon or something. What we got up in here? Oh, I got to do this one soon. I just my new one. I, you know what? I ain't, you know what? Since I ain't opened it yet, let me give a little time to open the hell up. Let me do that. This is my port. I got that. Let me bring it down. Bow. What we got down here? Dang, stem of pro. You know what? This one. Let me do this Hirsch right here. The Horizon. You see what time it is? 46% ABV. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is my very first bottling of them ever. And uh, I got this one not too long ago. And here's the specs on the back. As you can see, uh, you got a uh, four year and a seven year. You see the mash bill action right there. Um, Here's a little her story you can see right here. Blah, 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 blah. You got a lot of different offerings, but this is the, my first uh, bottle of Hirsch. So we'll dive all into these notes. Hirsch, the horizon on deck for review. Let's go. Baby, we're back at it again. Trams on deck. Today, we got another one. Today, we got the Hirsch whiskey on deck for review. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Ah, this is my first bottle of Hirsch. Um, this one right here is called the Horizon. Um, it's 46 ABV, which is 92 proof. Um, specs, as you probably saw earlier on this bottle, is 94% of this bottle is a four-year, uh, four-year, ten-month-old uh, whiskey. Um, it's mash bill of that is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% uh, barley. And then 6% of this is a seven-year, nine-months whiskey with 60% uh, corn, 36% 36 rye, and 4% barley. Um, it's a 92 proof. I got this bottle for about, uh, I got this early in the year. I want to say I got this probably like in maybe March. So I probably had this bottle probably like uh, five months now. It's almost half gone. It was a good price. I only paid 40 bucks for this, so... Um, I saw it, you know, some people, one of the guys at the store said it was pretty decent. And so I gave it a shot, 40 bucks. So I was like, what the hell? It's not going to, even if it's not all that good, 40 bucks can't really beat that too much. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is my first bottle of Hirsch. want to give it a shot. To my understanding, this is Hirsch is owned by a company that's in California. Um, it is MGP Rye. So this is, which is out of Indiana. So the Indiana MGP uh, whiskey, but it's bottled in Bardstown, uh, Kentucky. So, uh, spread out that way. So, nevertheless, um, as always, we're going to taste it. We're going to nose it. And we're going to score it. We're going to see what we got. But pretty much you have a blend of NGP Rise. You, you know, you got a four-year and a seven-year. So, blend it together. We're going to see how it comes together. So, uh, without further ado, look at this color. This color is pretty light. So, I mean, as you said, it's a mix, as I said earlier, it's a mix of whiskey. So, it's not super dark. But, you know, probably about a, I would say, a, a light amber color. And like I said, 40 bucks. So I was like, why not? They also, Hirsch has several other bottlings that are way more expensive um, and age stated ones too. Um, there was one I, when I was in Kentucky, I forgot the name of it, but it was actually a couple hundred dollars. So this one, like I said, was only 40 bucks. So this is pretty much what, you, what I would call the entry level to Hirsch. So we'll give it a shot and see what they got. So the, the shape of the bottle is pretty different too. I mean, you don't see a lot of bottles necessarily shaped like this. So not too bad. Um, like the teal color on the front. And uh, let's see what we have on this nose. I'm not picking up anything significant on the nose, to be honest with you. I mean, I get like a little small, light, like a cinnamon note. Light vanilla, a little, little, just a little bit of oak, but, you know, nothing that's really tickling my fancy very heavy. Nothing that's really jumping out at me. Just a little bit of light, of, like light cinnamon, oak, you know, a little vanilla. That's pretty much it. Nothing too outlandish. Um, without further ado, let's take this flip and we'll see what we got. Cheers. Okay. Now keep in mind, I haven't hit this bottle in months. I say I got this bottle early in the year. Last time I actually hit this probably was a good three months ago. And when I got this bottle, I, I bought like four or five other bottles. So, needless to say, like I 
you know, I, I didn't have like a, a very clear image of everything it tasted like. But that first sip, as always, the first sip kind of opens me up. My palate's getting sensitized to the alcohol. I'll take one more quick sip. The second sip should kind of further saturate my palate so I can dive deeper into the notes for you. So one more quick sip. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, you get sweet oak vanilla. I, I get like a little small lemon note, very small lemon note. Like a, almost tastes like a, like a little, it's, it has a little silkiness to it. It's not super creamy, but it does have a little silkiness to it. It's a little small grape syrup note. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I, you, you get cinnamon, that vanilla, honey. Like, like I said, nice little nice little note of, of the spice, like baking spice, lemon on it, very light lemon. It's not bad. Um, the transitions, it it doesn't, I mean, everything that I pretty much taste is kind of all in the mid palate. So when I put it in, everything is all rolled together in the mid palate. So it's not a lot, for me, I don't get a lot of transitions, but everything I get from like lemon to sweet oak vanilla, you know, that little light, all those notes kind of all going on the mid palate. The finish on it, like I said, it's 92 proof, so it's not super high, but it, I mean, it does has a, a medium low finish to it. So I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's short. It's like a medium low finish, which is not bad. Uh, but for me, um, like I said, I just wish it had more transitions. Everything is kind of all clumped together. So sometimes, almost like a movie, when you see a movie, you, you get, you know, a little bit of the plot, then it kind of opens up, and then you get the action start to happen then you get the the high climax and then you bring it down so i, I like to have like, i like a little you know like peaks and valleys where everything is all together swirled around and it goes down and it's a medium finish which is like i said it's not bad okay it's only 40 bucks so i'm not gonna hold it to a, a same standard if this was like 140 dollars then that's a different conversation but 40 bucks it's not bad for 40 dollar uh, whiskey I, I give it that for the price point um i think like i said it was about 36 37 dollars and with tax it might be 40 bucks so that's not bad um, but yeah, I wouldn't say that it's overly complex. I wouldn't say the transitions is out mind blowing, but for a $40 uh, entry level, it's not bad. Like I said, it, you could do worse. Let's put it that way. Um, but all in all, um, not bad. I, I, normally I would put water if it was a higher ABV, but because it's only 92 proof, I figured, you know, I might as well leave it the way it is. I mean, it's already watered down. Like, um, to me, you know, I usually prefer my uh, whiskeys to be 50% or higher. This one is less than that, so that's why I'm really not going to water it down. I'll take one more quick small sip, and then I'm going to give you a score. So, more of the same. You get a little, you get oak, a little vanilla, very, very light honey. You get a little bit of that lemon zest. Just a little bit of like a of a cinnamon, uh, like a cinnamon or a sugar note. But the, the one thing I don't like about it is kind of thin. It tastes a little thin for me, like it's not chewy. If you ever had like a nose mill, for example, or a, a certain stags, some of those are like heavy body, more thicker, more viscous. This is kind of like I'm not I'm not saying super thin, but I just wish it was more thin, more more thick rather, more thicker, more chewy, more viscous. That's why I wish it was. But all in all, for forty dollars, it's not bad. Um, if I had to rate this one out of a 10, 10 being the best for me, Dramps on deck. <sighs> I mean, I'll probably give this out of a 10, a, a, um, a seven, two, five, seven and a quarter out of a 10. So I think a seven and a quarter is not bad because keep in mind, I'm factoring the price and the availability too. So I think it's very accurately priced. It's not overpriced. I mean, a lot of days, you know, it's hard to find a good, decent bourbon that's over, that's under 50 bucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some out there, but nowadays everything is going up with inflation. So the fact that this is far less than $50 um, is over 40% ABV and it's a drinkable whiskey. Like I said, there's some people who may enjoy this more than me. I, I, I like a little bit more complexity, a little bit more viscousness, a lot more thicky, uh, more thickness, uh, thickness and chewiness to it. Um, that's just really, you know, it, but for $40, like I said, I'm not gonna knock it that bad. It's only, like I said, it's only $40. So, so for me, like I said, you get like a little bit of cinnamon, uh, like I said, vanilla, on, uh, honey, light honey, um, oak. Um, those are the type of notes you mostly get on here. Um, like I said, not overly complex, but you know, for, it's, it's decent for what it is. I mean, 
if you can find it for forty dollars or less, I mean, I would say give it a shot. Why not? I mean, if you're looking for or like overly complex, you know, like just complexity, and to be mind blowing, you, you know, you're usually not gonna see that any forty dollar bourbon. So you know, so I guess that's an unrealistic expectation. But nevertheless, it's not bad. I mean, for seven two five, I think it's a good score for a forty dollar bottle. So. Um, like I said, it's, 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 I think it's something that you can find. You can like, okay, let's come home and have a shot. It's easy to sip. It's not like overly, um, I, you know, you don't really get like any burning sensations, not hot. I would say that you get a little bit more meat, slightly more heat than you would a 40% ABV. So all in all, it's pretty decent. 7.25 out of a 10 for dreams of that. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you never had it before, hopefully it gives you an idea of the notes that you will be tasting on here. And which kind of what it is. You pretty much got two uh, MGPs blended together, and this is what you have. I mean, there's other, now I would say there are other people who reviewed this uh, right here, and, the, and they had diff, the, the back, like they had like a 60 or I have a 70. So the mash bill may be slightly different. So keep that in mind. But if, you, if this is one you have, like I said, I got a, I got a four year and a seven year. Um, give me, let me throw your thoughts and opinions. So hit me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you had this particular one, I want to know if you like it, didn't like it, or Aaron, you know, wh whatever you thought about it. You guys are my drinking buddy, so please be sure to, uh, to like, subscribe, and hit me in the comments. I really like that. So, hope everyone's enjoying this summer. I also have a Instagram page, so if you haven't seen it already, you can check out. There's a link in, in the description, so you can go ahead and check out the link for my Instagram page. I got a lot of bottles there that I haven't yet to review. And so I also have a cash app page here on if you do choose to make a small donation. But all in all, hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or if you thought about this bottle and was like in the store want to know something different, hopefully this can give you an idea. Like, you know, if you something new, you want to spend a lot of money, you want something new, this is this could be a decent change for you, all in all. But if you expect to be mind blown or looking for high complexity, you're not really gonna find that per se. So all in all, hope everyone's enjoying the summer. It's, they got a lot more hot reviews coming your way. Stay tuned. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.